polarize. On peut talk to the president. Please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Now uh, the floor is given to the defense team uh, to continue putting the question to the civil party. And please be reminded that the defense uh, counsel have uh, 25 more Il minutes altogether to put the question to the civil party. You may proceed. Cet interrogatoire. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Madam civil party, I do not have many questions anymore for you, um, but I do would like to um, discuss one document with you, Mr. President, that is uh, E3 slash uh, 1161, English ERN 00876994, Khmer 00052322, and French 00803309. Uh, Madam Civil Party, this is a uh, report uh, about the general situation in Divisions 310 and 450, and it talks about a meeting of all brothers and sisters of Divisions 310 and 450 on 11th March 1977, um, and the report was made up by a cadre called REN. Um, let me read a few things from this report, and maybe that jogs your memory. And maybe this is the regiment meeting that you were speaking about earlier. Um, REN says, for instance, that there is a uh, within divisions 310 three and 450, a shortage of uh, digging holes. Um, he says that living conditions in terms of fish and meat had been resolved with three horse carts for each unit every morning. Um, thus, uh, this somehow jog your memory, a meeting uh, with all brothers and sisters of Divisions 310 and 450 together on the 11th of March 1977, and that Wren um, was chairing this meeting. Does that ring a bell at all or, or none whatsoever? No, that I do not know. I do not know about uh, their meeting, where it was held, and what it was about. I, I, I do not know about it. But, but, but do you recall the president, Mr. Victor Copé, please uh, hold on. Judge uh, Jean-Marc Lavenge, you may proceed now. Peut-être que pour avoir une idée Maybe exacte de ce en quoi a consisté cette réunion, il faudrait dire quel était l'ordre du jour de la réunion. Les points 1 à 5. Points, points yes, um, um, uh, with all, by all means. Um, Madam Civil Party, I, I will Madame read to you the agenda for the meeting. Um, maybe it jogs, mem jogs your memory. Um, first, 
first point of the meeting was to examine the ideology, politics and organization of each unit. Two, to examine the internal enemy situation among the troops and the external enemy situation. Three, our tasking assigned by the party, especially to examine our spirit uh, to fool the party's tasking. Four, absolute respect for the discipline of Ankar. Five, the issue of the livelihood of each unit. And six, various issues. When I read this agenda, does that somehow jog your memory? No, I do not recall uh, that meeting. I, I cannot recall it at all. Very well. Um, my last question, uh, Madam Civil Party, is probably a controversial question. Um, but I'm asking because it was... Um, the prosecution who brought up the document, uh, document E3-1892, uh, which is the confession of um, Sung. Um, and the top of the confession, it says that this was written before he was tortured, as indicated as well by the um, prosecution. And there's a paragraph within uh, this document that talks about the division hospital and the situation in uh, the division hospital and I would like to read this passage. Um, uh, the problem with this document it seems that there is only an English the President, uh, Council Coupe, please uh, hold on and Judge uh, Zongmark Levenge, uh, please proceed. Peut-être faudrait-il demander maybe au procureur ou à vous-même, d'ailleurs, ce qui permet d'affirmer que uh, your ces confessions ont été obtenues What avant l'usage de la torture. Uh, 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 torture. Um, I have no idea, Mr. Uh, 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 Judge Leverne. Um, I only read um, the first sentence of this document, which says, written before he was tortured. But um, I brought it up um, because the prosecution uh, indicated the same passage and because the civil party had indicated that she had worked at the division hospital, I, w I was wanting to read a passage specifically about the division hospital to her. Est-ce que vous pourriez vous demander, est-ce que vous pourriez demander à votre collègue Khmer si cette mention figure également sur la version originale de Khmer Apparemment, la version originale de Khmer ne parle pas de cette déclaration faite avant torture. That does not state that this confession was made before torture. Well, that's exactly what I was about to say. Um, there seems to be only an English summary, uh, which is about um, 30 or 40 pages, presumably made by um, Steve Heather, but we don't know for sure. But there is no Khmer version. Uh, there is, obviously, uh, but there's something that we cannot um, read. And there is no French version either. Um, so I'm only citing the first um, sentence dans ces conditions, Maître Copé, dans well, ces conditions, case, il serait peut-être préférable Copé, de ne pas faire usage de ce document tant que nous ne savons pas plus document, sur les conditions dans lesquelles exactly les confessions ont été obtenues. Confessions were obtained. Sachant qu'il s'agit d'aveux provenant de S21. Given that these are confessions that did come from S21. I would like to read it, this passage, but if you say I cannot, then, then, then I... Then I, then I, 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 I
Je pense que vous pouvez faire usage de ce document si vous voulez faire usage d'annotations, mais si vous voulez lire le contenu, je pense que ce n'est pas approprié. Tous les cas, pas tant que nous ne savons pas dans quelles conditions ces abdominaux sont I wasn't aware yet of a ruling on this issue. Um, I, I am under the impression that we are still waiting for a decision uh, on this. And um, and apparently there are contraindications as to uh, the question whether torture was used upon this um, uh, commander of uh, 450. Um, But if you're saying I cannot use it, then, then, um, then there's nothing I can do. Is that your ruling? Je pense que vous avez parfaitement compris. Yes, I think you understood perfectly well. Then I have uh, finished my questions. Alors j'en ai terminé, dit Maître Coupeau. Et, euh, Monsieur le Président, pour votre information, nous n'avons pas de questions pour euh, Madame la partie civile Mr. du côté President, de la Défense de Pour votre information, nous n'avons pas de questions pour cette uh, civile partie. Bah, au coup. Le Président. Président. Merci. Merci. Madame Concier. Madame Concier. As advised by the uh, chamber, Comme la chambre vous l'a annoncé, before we started uh, this testimony, toward the end uh, of the uh, testimony uh, today, uh, you can uh, tell the court the suffering and the injury you sustained uh, during the democratic Cambodia period, particularly against the co-accused Kyo Sompon and Nguyen Chie, uh, that has uh, led you to apply to join as a civil party uh, against the co-accused. So you may now uh, describe the suffering and the injury, uh, including the physical material and uh, mental uh, injuries as well as personal injury uh, sustained uh, during that period and, uh, and their uh, consequences uh, to date. If you have any, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to ask uh, your permission, uh, Your Honor, to describe the sufferings that uh, I have endured. Uh, I would like to ask one question. I was at the rear, uh, and my family were evacuated uh, into the uh, jungle. And in the meeting, uh, they said that uh, they waged this revolutionary uh, Uh, action in order to help the people. So our family uh, were evacuated to the jungle in 1973 to 1974, and they said that it was for the liberty uh, of the people. And they wanted the liberty for my uh, family and the people, but unfortunately they evacuated uh, my family into uh, the jungle, and they did not give us sufficient uh, food to eat, and we were subjected to very harsh lab labor. Labor and uh, we had to plant, uh, transplant uh, rice, and we had to work in the rice field. So where was the liberty? Where was the freedom for all of us? Where was the well-being of the people? We uh, we uh, were uh, subjected to uh, enslavement uh, during that period. That's why I would like to ask this court uh, to seek uh, justice for me. Uh, and it was uh, very uh, painful uh, for us, my family. Um, My family did not have uh, access to sufficient food. Actually, during this regime, uh, they enslaved uh, the people at that time. My, my uh, father did not uh, have the Uh, underwear, and uh, he asked for a pen, you know, from them, and then they said that, well, they did not have the pen for for him. Uh, whatever happened to him, it happened. He could, uh, he would uh, 
you know go naked uh, without a pen covering it was also uh, they did not care uh, about that so that was the situation and uh, when I uh, came to the uh, front in 1975 as I uh, told the court earlier when I joined with my brother I stayed in the hospital and then they sent me back and forth uh, to all by home I was subjected to hard labor over there uh, they made me to work in the rice field they did not give me enough food they had to they made me sleep uh, in along the rice field and I I was uh, suffering from malnutrition uh, and I ate a lot of other you know things uh, in, instead of rice whatever I could find to eat um, and I was very uh, lonely uh, at that time. So where was the freedom? Where was the uh, liberty that they told us uh, when they evacuated us? That's why I count on this court uh, to find uh, justice for me. When I was sent to Kampung Chnang, I was made to carry earth and to uh, dig uh, the canals, even if uh, my hands uh, could hardly you know, hold the whole animals, but I was was forced uh, to continue uh, working. I had to work because I fear for my life. If I did not uh, do as what they order uh, us to do, um, I would not have uh, survived. So I had to carry, for example, they made me carry the uh, cement. I could not carry that cement because it was too heavy and my physical strength was not strong enough to carry it, but they had to uh, make me do it. That's why it uh, affects my uh, body. I I had uh, suffered and now uh, I am still uh, suffering from that overwork. I am on regular medication, that's why I can live until today. So I would the questions that I would like to ask uh, to them, where was the liberty they promised us? Where was the liberty? Uh, so I hope that this court will uh, find justice for us. The President. Do you have any specific question you uh, intend to put uh, to the co-accused, Mr. Nguyen Chi and Mr. Kiu Sampon? If you do, uh, you can be uh, brief and specific on that question, and you can ask that question through us, uh, through uh, the judges and, uh, and me, the president of the bench, civil party. My question uh, that I would like to put to them through Mr. President is that I have uh, suffered uh, painfully uh, through this uh, regime. I would like uh, justice to be done so that I can feel relief after, after this. The President. Thank you. The hearing of the testimony of civil party Kung Siet is coming to a conclusion now, and then the we will continue. Uh, TCW uh, 943 uh, in the next uh, proceedings. Uh, Madame Kung Siet, the chamber wishes to thank you uh, for coming uh, to uh, testify on the uh, suffering and injury you endured during the Democratic Cambodia. Now your testimony, testimony is coming to an end, so uh, you may now go back to your home or to anywhere uh, you wish to go. And the, on behalf of the bench, I wish you all the best of luck and good health and a safe journey back home. And we also like to thank uh, the TPO staff uh, for accompanying this uh, civil party during her testimony. Now it is coming to an end of this testimony, so you may go back uh, now. And court officer is instructed to uh, help the civil party uh, to uh, return to her home. And the chamber called TC W943 uh, to come to uh, the courtroom now.
So today, hello, Saksai, Taluk Chmoei. Good afternoon, Mr. President Fitness. Um, what is your name? And please be advised that you have to wait until your mic is activated before you speak. Response. My name is Saim Hung. I live in Kompung Thom province, Barai district, in Batsna commune. The President, merci. The President, thank you. Besides your uh, name, uh, Hương, uh, do you have any alias? Avez-vous un quelconque alias? My response. Uh, during the Pol Pot uh, era, my name was Sam Hương. The President, do you have any alias? Respond, none. The President, how about Kim? Kim. Sam Kim. Sam Kim. The president. That is why I uh, ask you, uh, before you, uh, your name was uh, Kim, was that correct? And now your name, your, your uh, full name is uh, Hun. Sam Hun. Respond, yes, that is correct. Question, uh, when were you born? President, quelle est votre date de naissance? Response, I do not remember Réponse. it. Je ne souviens pas. Question, uh, how old are you Question, this year? Cette année? Response, I am Réponse. 63. 63 ans. Question. Question, what do you do for a living, Mr. Uh, Sam Hoon? Response. Réponse. I am a farmer, Mr. President. Je suis agriculteur, Monsieur le Président. The President. What is your father and mother's name? Question. Quels sont les noms de votre père et votre mère? Response. My father, Sam, Réponse. and père, my mother, Sam, Kut, uh, both of them have Kut, passed away. Les deux sont décédés. Uh, how about your wife? What is her name and how many children femme, have you got? Son nom et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Response. My, my wife, Mom Lee, we have uh, six children. President, thank you, Mr. Sam Hoon. To the best of your knowledge, uh, do you have any connection by blood or by law uh, to the co-accused, uh, Mr. Kieu Sampon and Mr. Nguyen Chia, and those who are admitted as the civil parties to case uh, 002? Respond, none. I am not related to any of them. Thank you. Now, before uh, you come to the court, uh, have you um, taken an oath? Respond, yes, I have. Thank you, President. Mr. Simon, now I wish to advise you of your rights and duty uh, before uh, the uh, proceeding. Mr. Simon, as, a civil, uh, as the uh, witness uh, before this chamber, you may reject uh, uh, to respond to any question or comment uh, which may uh, incriminate you. That is the uh, right to against self-incrimination. And as for the duty of you as a civil party, you shall respond to the question uh, put by the parties as well as the chamber uh, unless uh, the question or uh, any common elicited which uh, may amount to your self-incrimination, which I have just advised you. So as a witness, you have to answer uh, and tell the truth 
and nothing uh, but the truth. So you have to uh, tell the court what you have heard, what you have saw, uh, and what you have experienced uh, by yourself. Mr. Sam Hoon, uh, have you ever uh, testified or provided any testimony to the investigator of the Office of Investigating Judges before? And if uh, you have, uh, how many times have you conducted this interview uh, with them, and where were the interview taken place? Response. I have uh, provided uh, testimony uh, to the investigator in Andau village in Batsna commune, Barai district, Kampung Thom province. But as to how many times I uh, gave this interview, I do not recall. The president, before uh, coming uh, before this chamber, Mr. Sam Huen, have you uh, reviewed or read uh, your record of interviews uh, conducted with the investigator? of the Office of Investigating Judges in order to um, recollect what you have told them. Response. I have already uh, read um, all of them, but I have recollected uh, some of them only. The President, to the best of your knowledge and recollection, the uh, records of interviews that you have just read or review are they consistent uh, or with uh, what you gave to the investigator during the interviews? Response. Réponse. Yes, uh, they are correct and they are consistent as well. Oui, c'est exact et cohérent. The president, president in the examination of this uh, witness uh, in questions, we, uh, in pursuance to uh, Rule 91 bis of the internal rules, uh, the chamber wishes to give the floor to the prosecutor uh, to and the lead co-lawyer for the civil party to proceed. Three sessions to put the question to this uh, witness. You may proceed now. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, sir. I want to start by just asking you some questions, basic questions about your background. Is it correct that you only went to school one year? Please sir, repeat your question. Sir, how much schooling do you have? Monsieur, quel est votre éducation? En combien de temps êtes-vous allé à l'école? I uh, studied when I was young in 1968, and I was in grade 12 in the old educational system. Is it correct then to say that you studied for one year? That is true. I studied for a year. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. J'ai étudié pendant un an. And then there was a coup d'état. Ensuite, il y a eu le coup d'état. Did you ever have the opportunity to be a monk? Question. Have you ever been a monk? Avez-vous jamais été moine? No. Because by that time, the monks were forced to disrobe. Non, parce qu'à l'époque, when you say at that time the monks were forced to to disrobe. At what period of time were the monks forced to disrobe? À quel moment les moines ont-ils été contraints de se défroquer? Moines were forced to disrobe in 1971. They were forced to ride bicycles, to engage in labor. Conduire des bicyclettes et travailler. 
And that was the beginning of the period when monks were forced to do that. Thank you. Who was it that forced the monks to disrobe? Question. Et qui a forcé les moines à se, défro à se défroquer? The monks were disrobed, were forced to disrobe by Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge. Okay, thank you. So, given that Question. you only Merci. had the opportunity to study Étant for a year before the coup and départ, were never a monk, would you say moine, that you uh, can read well or do you have problems reading? I can réponse. do a little writing and uh, reading, but not that much. Peu, you indicated you read statements that you previously vous made. What I have is two statements you made to the court that are rather court. short to vous investigators from the ECCC court, and a longer interview that you made with someone called Sochia from DC Cam, from Pan Sochia. Did you read over all three of these? I did. Oui, je However, fait. the statements were made quite a long time ago, so Mais I'm going to recall all the details. I did not get any interpretation, but Question. it could be je my... I don't know if anyone else missed it. Yes. Thank you. I was informed by my colleague that you said you read all three. So did you notice that there were inconsistencies between the three? I read all three uh, statements. J'ai lu ces trois déclarations. And to my understanding, they are all consistent. Et au vu de ce que j'ai compris, <laughs> okay. cohérentes. Sir, do you recall the zodiac sign that you were born under? Vous souvenez-vous de you votre signe the Chinese sign, the year of the monkey, the Chinois, year of the. What year were you born under? En quelle année êtes-vous né? I was born Réponse. in the year of the horse. Je suis né l'année du cheval. Well, sir, the Question. year of the horse, one of them is 1943. Ce être which, do you remember the month you were born? Vous souvenez -vous à quel mois vous êtes né? No. Réponse, no. I only knew that I was born in the G of the horse and it was the first day. Un jeudi. In one of your Question. statements at ERN Dans in English, English 00 00 00 it says you were born in November. Il est dit que vous êtes né en Is that novembre. You don't recall whether it was November or not? Vous ne vous pas si Do you know November if it was November or, or not? Le -vous? No, I cannot uh, recall that. Non, je I only recall pas. that it was the first day when I was born. Simplement que un jeudi. Okay. Question. Well, if you were born in Bien. November Mettons or any time after April, 1943, the year of the horse, then in April 
1970, you would have been 16 years old. Does that sound about right? Yes, I think you, it sounds about right. Oui, cela me semble à peu près correct. I was around 19 years old in 1970. Well, which are you more sure of? The age you were in 1970 or the fact that you were born in the year of the horse? I think it is more correct to say that Réponse. I was born in the year of the horse. Il est plus exact de dire que je suis okay, née l'année du cheval. Sir, um, when Question, did you get monsieur. married? Monsieur, quand vous êtes-vous marié? I got married in Réponse. 1979. Je me suis marié en 1979, dit le témoin. So, Question. were you married or single during the democratic Kampuchea period? During the DK period. Pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique. Sorry, I, I didn't get that. So Excusez-moi, je n'ai pas bien compris votre réponse. Now, sir, did you join at some point after the 1970 coup? Did you join a force, a military force? Avez-vous rejoint des forces militaires? President, uh, witness, please be mindful with the uh, microphone operation. Witness. Le témoin. In 1972, en 1972, I was a soldier at the front battlefield. Who were you a soldier for? Pour qui what, -vous soldat? what movement or force did you join? Quel mouvement ou quelle force avez -vous rejoint? Réponse. At that time, I served in the army à for the époque, front for the national salvation. Je servais l'armée de front de libération. Okay, thank you. What Question units merci. did you serve in during the à time that you were a soldier? Réponse. I was subordinated to Division 310. Je dépendais de la Division 310. In Regiment 12. Régiment 12. And Battalion 123. Bataillon 123. And the, uh, and I was attached to a, another company underneath. To recall the company, the Question. name of the company you were attached to? President, uh, Mr. Witness, you do not need to Monsieur refer Temoin, to your personal load, uh, personal note. Uh, please uh, try to recall it from your memory, personnel. and if Essayez you cannot recall, 
the details, si vous ne vous souvenez pas simply, des détails, uh, so. dites-le. Merci. President, and, uh, do you rec recall the last question? If not, uh, please, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, repeat your last question. It seems that the witness uh, forgets it. Sure. And, sir, if at any time you don't remember something or don't know the answer, please uh, just tell us that. But we don't want you to guess at answers. There's nothing wrong with saying you don't know. We want you to just tell us what you saw and heard, what you can recall. Do you recall the name of the company that you were associated with? You said you were in Battalion 123, Regiment 12. Do you recall the name of the company? So we didn't get your answer. Um, did, can you just repeat it? Do you recall the name of the company? Wait for the microphone light to go on. It was company five. Okay, thank you. Now, I want to start with April 1975 when the Khmer Rouge entered Phnom Penh. Do you recall where you were then? In 1975, I entered Phnom Penh and I was stationed at, uh, in the area of the Central Market and Wat Nom. What was your Question. position then? Were you with Company 5, of Battalion 1975, en 1975, j'étais rattaché à cette compagnie. And, sir, were you a messenger? Were you a regular soldier? What was your position? Quel était votre poste? I never worked as a messenger. I was a soldier, soldier on the ground. And sir, who was the commander of the company? I cannot recall the name of the uh, company commander. It's been so many years now. Thank you. Depuis. Do you recall the name Question. of the battalion Merci. commander? Battalion 123 at that time. Réponse. For the uh, battalion, the commander was eight. Le commandant était eight ce bataillon. Thank you. And Question, merci. how about the regiment? Again, at the time that Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh was taken by the Khmer Rouge in April 1975, who was the commander of Regiment 12? Qui était le commandant du Regiment 12 à cette époque?
réponse. Uh, I do not recall the name of the uh, Je regiment ne me souviens commander. pas du nom du commandant du régiment. Because not long after we entered Phnom Penh, he was arrested. Okay, thank you. How about the name of the commander of the division? It was Uyun, who was the Réponse commander Uyun, of the division. De la division. Now, you said that the commander of the regiment was arrested not long after, you, after the fall of Phnom Penh to the Khmer Rouge. Um, do you know why he was arrested? I do not know the reason, but I only heard that he was arrested. How about you, sir? Were you ever arrested by the Khmer Rouge? No, I was never arrested. However, my activities were being monitored as I was accused of having a connection to the traitor's network since the division commander was accused of being a traitor. By the way, in your division 310, were most of the, your comrades, your fellow soldiers from the same areas, from that part of the country where you were from? Soldiers came from various uh, sectors, provinces uh, throughout uh, the country. Were there many in your division from Kampong Tom? Most of the uh, soldiers in the company uh, came from uh, Kampong Tom and Kampong Chan, while others uh, came from other provinces, but the majority uh, came from uh, Kampong Tom. Now, you said that the head of the regiment was arrested and accused of traitorous activities, and you were then monitored for links. Were you engaged in traitorous activities yourself, sir? I was accused of uh, having uh, a connection with a traitorous uh, link since the head of the regiment was arrested and the head of the division was also arrested. So all the soldiers working under that division were considered of having connection to the bad uh, composition or the, uh, of the bad element. Were any of the soldiers that you knew of, well, first of all, you, sir, were you a member of a KGB or CIA network? No, I was never Réponse. involved with any CIA link or non, connection or, or neither KGB. KGB. I only heard the slogan used by Paul Pot that our divisional Pot, commander uh, was a traitor and our regiment commander was also a traitor, so we were accused of uh, 
being linked to the KGB and the uh, CIA uh, networks. Okay, thank you. Um, how about your siblings, Question. by the way? You had some siblings, is that correct? You have brothers? I had four uh, siblings, Réponse, quatre three sœurs, uh, brothers and one sister. The eldest brother was taken away and killed uh, during the Pol Pot time. I survived Moi, survécu. and my other sister and brother also uh, survived. Do you know Question. why your brother was taken away and killed during the Khmer Rouge period? My other brother was taken away because Réponse, I was alleged of a linking to a Traitorous network. So, because you were alleged to be part of a network, your brother was killed? Is that what you're telling us? Do I understand you? Vous ai-je bien compris? Votre frère a-t-il été emmené parce que vous aviez été accusé d'être de faire partie d'un réseau de traîtres? Réponse. Yes, after. Oui. Uh, they uh, monitored me. They Ils said that we were uh, having a connection to the treacherous network, and all soldiers from the north zone were accused of having that link. Sir, was your brother in Division 310 or in another north zone division? No, he did not uh, stay with me. He, he was in a separate unit. He, I was in Division 310, and he was a, a, a sector soldier, although I did not uh, know his uh, division, and I only met him once in 1975. Did your brother have a previous position in the government of the King Father Sihanouk? Votre frère avait-il occupé un poste pour le gouvernement du roi Sihanouk? During the Sankum Regium, pendant le Sankum he had a relationship with her police and military officers, and in fact, he militaire. actually had a connection with en the fait, former officers uh, as he was trying to find the, the network of the Khmer Rouge. Do you know if Question. it was his connections to Sihanouk's former government, if that had anything to do with his being killed? At that time, I was uh, pretty young, and that's what I saw. And I saw that he had a connection with the former military vu, and police officers, as he was uh, working for them in uh, searching out for the network of the Khmer Rouge. And that happened in 1968. And later on, I did not Je know what was sens, going on ensuite, with him. Sir, just so that we have that Le name of your brother, may I ask you please to tell us what was the name of your Pour brother who was killed by the Khmer Rouge? Un Che was his name. Réponse, Un Che. Un was the uh, surname, and Chess, uh, that's his uh, name. Ch 
purchased this and in and fact uh, my surname Sam uh, came from my father Sam my father's name was père. Sam Mon père s'appelait pareil Now let me ask you about the division Question. commander On who you said was arrested Do you know when he was arrested Commandant de la division qui a été arrêté Savez-vous à quel moment il a été arrêté I remember that uh, the arrest uh, happened uh, toward the end of 1975, although I cannot recall the exact month. Let me try to help you a little bit, or you can help us. Where were you when you heard that On was arrested? Do you remember? I was working in a rice field in Turco. Did you also hear about the arrest of the Northern Zone Secretary, former Northern Zone Secretary, Koi Tun? I heard about that as we were uh, told. We were uh, told Koi Tun was arrested as he was part of the treacherous network. And after that, my military division commander was arrested and we were told that we soldiers had to go to attend the study session and we were instructed to line up in Wat Nom. Nous avons dû and then the southwest people came to Les take over. After they conducted the search, they said that our commanders were part of the traitorous network and they were traitors. That's what we were told. Sir, was it unusual during the period of democratic Kampuchea for the Khmer Rouge authorities to tell you after they arrested or executed someone that this person was part of a traitorous network? Was that unusual? Did that happen once in a while? Or can you tell us? I received that information once, and I cannot attest to the fact that whether such information was relayed to soldiers like myself from time to time. I cannot say if this information was relayed to soldiers like myself from time to time. Now, you had fought under Ohn's command in various battlefields, is that correct? Yes, I participated in many battlefields, I mean most of the battlefields in the North Zone, as I was a foot soldier since 1970. Can you just briefly tell us some of the places that you fought under Ohn's command? On nous annonçait brièvement quelques endroits où vous avez lutté sous le commandement de cette personne. Yes, I can do that. Réponse. In 1973, I participated in a battlefield in Siem Reap, in Udom and Jay, and in late 1973, I was transferred from Udom and Jay to defend Angkor Wat for a year. I 
and when uh, planes were withdrawn, lorsque, I was assigned to Kampong Cham battlefield, then to Prague Pneu battlefield, then I was uh, deployed to a battlefield in Angsnul. Uh, that is uh, in uh, Kampong Spu province. Uh, these are uh, some of the battlefields that I participated in. I have many more questions. Uh, President, uh, thank you, the uh, co procureur Today hearing uh, has come to an adjournment. We adjourn uh, today and resume Monday, the 22nd June 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. For the hearing on Monday, the Chamber will continue to hear the testimony of this witness, Sam Poon. And after that, we hear testimony of a witness to TCW 901. And please be informed that for tomorrow and after tomorrow, there will be no hearing as they are national holidays. So please be advised. And Mr. Sam Huon, the Chamber is grateful of your time and testimony. However, it is not yet concluded, and you are again invited to return to testify to on Monday next week, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning, and you are now excused. And, court officer, please, in, co in collaboration with Visu, make necessary arrangement uh, to transport the witness to the place where he is uh, staying and invite him to return to this courtroom on Monday next week, commencing from 9 o'clock. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused, Nunchi and Kirsten back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings on Monday, 22nd June 2015, before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.